Hi everyone, it's Simon Fox from Lifestyle Essentials and what I would like to do today is talk a little bit around the area of exercise rehabilitation. Now the body is designed to move and when we stop moving and we become sedentary, what tends to happen is muscles atrophy, joints become stiffer and if that occurs for long enough, what will happen is muscles will become dysfunctional. Over the last 20 years as an exercise rehabilitation specialist, I've worked to develop different models to try and help people overcome back pain and shoulder pain, neck pain. And this has probably been one of our most effective models that we use here in our Mitchum studio, uh, the rehabilitation pyramid. Now with the rehab pyramid, what we do is we look at isolating out muscles to get them working properly, then to integrate them back into movements so that you can actually function normally. So if we're looking at this pyramid, for example, with someone who's got back pain, a lot of the time people, when they have back pain, become dysfunctional in muscles such as their hamstrings or their glutes. So what we do in the exercise rehab process is we isolate out these muscles and we get them working correctly. So we may look, have to look at getting their glutes working or we may need to look at getting their pelvic floor working or their abdominals working. Once we get these work muscles working in an isolated uh, format or in an isolated exercise, what we then do is we start to integrate them in to the units that they work with. So the glutes are meant to work with the hamstrings and the lower back. The pelvic floor is meant to work with the, with the abdominals. The TVA, the transverse abdominal, deep abdominal muscles meant to work with the outer abdominals. So the second stage in this pyramid is that we start to integrate them. We also integrate them into their muscle slings. So Thomas Myers wrote a book called Anatomy Trains or Muscle Slings and this is where muscles work together in chains like a train to actually get the body to function correctly. And by getting these muscles working correctly in their, in their slings or in their anatomy trains means the body starts to function a lot more effectively and at an optimal level. The final stage in our pyramid is to actually get people doing what we call functional movement patterns. So these are the primal movement patterns we do in everyday life, such as lunge, squat, bend, twist, push, pull, and gait or walk. By actually taking people from this stage to this stage, what that means is when you're in everyday life, bending down to pick something up or putting a object on a shelf, that these muscles will activate correctly and stabilize the shoulder joint, preventing pain and preventing injury. So if you suffer from back pain or any sort of musculoskeletal injury and you're interested in getting your body moving at an optimal level so that you're pain free, jump onto our website, lifestyleessentials.com.au and have a look through our blog and our information on our website or just send us an email at info at lifestyleessentials.com.au and we can help you get your body moving at an optimal level so that you can live life pain free.